Hi everyone. In today's Animal Crossing New Horizons video, I'm going to be t I'm going to be touring a city island. Now, I really like city islands. Originally for my island, that's what I was going to do. And then I decided to do a forest core island, and then I decided to do a city core island again. So, it just it got really messy, so I'm very excited to visit a very nice uh, city core island. So, without further ado, let's get started. It looks like it's a very clear night, and firstly, this resembles Harvey's Island very, a lot. Like, with, I don't know if they mean to do that, because it just, it really looks like uh, Harvey's Island. Anyways, let's head onto the beach, and on, let's over here, like a little pond, some nature, which is always nice, and like a city, and then a mini waterfall, and then what's this way? Um... Some flowers, and then here is the road. Now, now we're on the main city. Yeah, the crosswalk, and I didn't. Yeah, let's look at the map. And let's see, they have some good villagers like Laymond. Laymond is definitely a very good city themed. And then Fauna, I guess Fauna's good for like the park, and then some others. And then this road leads right to the plaza, and then I guess it goes like through it. And yeah, it just connects, and they left me some stuff. Like a handheld lantern, tambourine, nuke incorporated balloon, coffee, a lantern. Let's pick up all of this stuff. Okay, well I have my balloon, and now let's head, um, this way. Okay, we have a truck and some loads. No, I love city islands. One of my islands are definitely going to be a city island. I just, I don't know, I, yeah, I love them so much, I don't know why I didn't do it though, and I really like this with the uh, brick inclines and then the customization. And then like on the top you can look, overlook um, the plaza which looks very nice. They have the storefronts and some parking. Now that's really cool that they included parking. The city islands I had, I have visited, they just, they don't have parking. And that's cool that they actually have like parking for the buildings. And then back here is like an alleyway for Able Sisters and a bunch of more of uh, the medieval sidewalls. And then, let's head up here, and then you have Nuke's Cranny, which, it looks very nice, I really like this. And then, the, like, vending machines and stuff back here, and all the boxes. I feel like majority of people put boxes around Nuke's Cranny and Able Sisters. Oh, and I love that he's actually using the crosswalk. And then this is a very smart design. And they, oh, and shooting stars. So they're using the medieval archway, and then the Super Mario blocks to create a bridge. That's a very good illusion for a bridge, because the Mario blocks float. And then we come on to like the main highway, and then to the right off of the highway, we have the museum, which looks very nice, and then anything on the beach, um, no. And then, yeah, the museum definitely looks very good right there. And now if we go back onto the main highway, I like the, tree, uh, the trees right there, and then a roundabout. Now this definitely looks very realistic with the stuff in the middle. Like all the nature, because usually most roundabouts have some type of nature, and then a soda, and let's see another truck, and then more of the highway, and then and this is where the highway ends into another load, and then it turns into a much smaller, and they have construction. Now this looks really cool, I like the construction, every city island needs some place with construction, and then you have like the wheat field, and what is... This way, another one of these bridges. Definitely look very good. That leads to the beach. And then another shooting star. And what should we go up? Yeah, let's go up. All the different pergola items. I really like this. And then it overlooks into the ocean, which looks really, really nice. Now, back at the construction site. Let's head straight now. And we the more buildings. Now, I very much like this brick styled with the... Uh, partitions, like, I think that looks really nice, and then you have all the different pergolas. Let's see, that's three pergolas, and that leads out to, uh, more buildings. Now, the 2.0 update definitely very much helped, like, City Core Islands. Like, I just don't know how people did it without it. Like, definitely they used a lot of stalls and partitions. Like, I remember when I played Animal Crossing in the very beginning without the 2.0 update, and what I created... And what everyone else was created was the petitions. I, yeah, I remember that. Oh, and then here's a store, which looks really nice. 
Oh yeah, I saw this before. No, on one of my uh, on a video I watched a couple months a year or so ago. I saw th these type of designs, and I think they're really cool. Like when they take like the residents or uh, main characters, like the pizza, and uh, characters from older games, and make them like their own shop. I think that's really cool. And then you have all the different items, like the bus stop, the electro bus stop, and the island gates, and the storefronts. Like that looks really nice. And then you have all the different cars and street lamps. And then, oh, I did that on my island. Just a, uh, like a food truck. And then another building. And then um, a truck right there. And then let's head up into the main neighborhood. Because this is where all the residents' homes are. Well, firstly, to the right here, we have all the pergolas. Now, these items are definitely good to fill in the back area of a build. Because then you just have a bunch of empty space at you don't you can't really fill in and then more storefronts and uh, yeah and then i really like this and then you have all the different type of homes on this road i was just gonna say i haven't noticed a car but there are the cars i keep hearing shooting stars and it keeps catching my attention because they have a meteor shower right now on this island so there's just so many shooting stars let's head up to the third level and Oh yeah, a lot more homes and all the storefronts in between. Looks definitely really nice, like apartment buildings. And then you have like more of the nature. And then, let's head back to the light here. And what is that? Oh yeah, the dog house was the uh, dog that was the red eyes. I'm curious what's in that dog house. Anyways, let's head to the light here. And head this way. All the way. Oh, there's like a mini pool right here. Oh, this looks really nice. A small area with some nature. Now, they, the creator of this island definitely did a good job, like, mixing nature to the city. Like, that looks really nice. That, like, it looks very, very nice. And then, let's continue. And what's down here? Now, I bet you this is the secret beach. And, wow, this is so cool. Like, the campsite and how it's just, like, tucked back in here. You're surrounded by buildings. And then you have this, like, small grove of nature. Which looks really nice. You can see all the storefronts and the homes. And it's very hidden. It's like a park where you can go camp. And then what's this way? Nope, just blocked. Let's head back up. Oh yeah, that's a very hidden. Like, I would have not noticed that if it wasn't for the map. Like, that's a very smart design choice. Like with the uh, campsite. Because on the beach it wouldn't really match. So have it like tucked back between the buildings. was definitely really smart. Now, let's head back down to the first, uh, the, down this incline, after we look some at some of the stuff, and let's go to the beach, I keep seeing things over there, I bet you there's more decoration, so let's go all the way over here, and then hop across the ocean river, and there we go, we're over, and now we have a pathing, and another car, and then, what's this? Oh, like a little bike shop, it looks like. And then, what? Uh, cameras. Hy-Vee's photo service. Oh, I love that. With the, yeah, because Hy-Vee is a picture taker in Animal Crossing, or a photographer. So to have his own shop, it's really cool. And how it's tucked back here, and like the use of the bookshelves, and the storefronts, and all the other items. Like, definitely good. Only part, the only thing I'm curious about is how the cars get over. But, you can just go this way if you want to go get cameras. Now, this is a super cool island. Like, I really like this. Thank you for watching today's Animal Crossing Island tour video. If you would like to visit this island for yourself, the dream address is in the description below. So, thank you for watching, and good bye!